Maggie says she wants to uh, style my hair for the video. You look so nice with your hair pushed up. I look like I just um, stuck a fork into an electrical socket. <laughs> It's another week of quarantine. And you know, in the other weeks, we've shown you grocery shopping, we've shown you the puzzles, but this time, this week, all you're getting from Keith and Becky is building a miniature golf course. I'm gonna show you how to build a miniature golf course in your house too, and then Becky and I are gonna play miniature golf together. I mean, yes, we're eating snack balls, yum. Ariel, how has this week been for you? Board. Yeah, but we're gonna try and come up with some new games. We have to come up with new games. Really Quarantine has honestly been really tough on me. I have been working non-stop day and night. This week I wanted to focus on trying to learn how to make that DIY no-sew mask that's going viral that you can do at home. The materials you'll need- <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay, pups. Hey, hey, I'm trying to teach people how to make a mask here. And I'm going to be doing something incredibly stupid with my action figures, so stick around. What's your favorite part of quarantine? Balls. Balls. I hear that. Today is my mom's birthday. And actually, I was supposed to be in New York right now for a big party that she was gonna throw. I'm not gonna say how old she is, cause that's rude, but it was a very meaningful birthday and of course, like with everything, we had to cancel it. So my family, we're all getting together and we're throwing her a surprise video chat birthday party. Surprise! Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear Margo. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thanks everybody. <laughs> My grandmother made homemade birthday hats out of tin foil, I think, which makes it look like she's preparing for an alien invasion. And yeah, it was just a really nice, lovely thing. I think it's a reminder that even if you're not physically with the people who are closest to you right now, you can find ways to be emotionally close to them. She almost cried, but then she took a shot at tequila. So, you know, <laughs> the two extremes of life right there. It's time for a baby dance party. So this is a rough drawing of my living room and kitchen. It's very rough. Um, but this is the coffee table that I'm on right now. You get it. There's some strawberries and leftover ranch. I got my, my door over there. I'm thinking it's all gonna wind around. So you're gonna need some supplies. You gotta think out here, what are my golf balls gonna be if I don't have golf balls? What are my golf clubs gonna be if I don't have golf clubs? And what are my barriers gonna be? There's barriers everywhere, baby. Number one, shoes. I'm sure your house is full of shoes. You can make an entire hole just using shoes as your perimeter. I've got some benches here. I've got some chairs here. And then also something else you can use you probably haven't thought of is just towels. Towels, now I'm gonna use for most of my greens because I like the texture. It's kind of like an AstroTurf for a felt, but you can also roll the towel up and have that be a barrier as well. So we've got some cardboard, baby, because we've been ordering stuff online because we're people. So we got some cardboard I can cut up, and once we bought a giant Jenga set for a party, so I actually have the best case scenario. I actually have bricks. So step one for me is building the structure of everything, and then step two is theming it, and then step three, playing mini golf. So I've actually got a weird arts and crafts task for today. So back this summer, when we were on tour, uh, when we were in Australia, I met someone from our Patreon, Ash. She doesn't know that I'm doing this right now. What up, Ash? There was a part of my monologue that she really liked uh, where I, I talked about the idea of depression when I was growing up and, and the need to choose fun. And so there was that phrase, choose fun. And she asked me to write the words, choose fun, so that she could get a tattoo. Pretty cool. Someone asking me to design a tattoo for them is a huge honor. The only problem is my handwriting sucks. <laughs> and a tattoo is a permanent thing. Honestly, I've been stressed out about this for months and I've been putting it off for months and months because the idea of, of sucking and then her tattooing this, it just, it, I don't know. So today, I'm going to sit here until I have designed the perfect tattoo. So here we go. 
We were in the middle of a yoga workout and then uh, Wes decided he wanted to play trumpet. <laughs> It's a uh, it's very, very meditative, very relaxing. You know, the sound of the trumpet kind of lets you go deeper and deeper into a meditative state. <laughs> Namaste. All right, I hope you've been enjoying what the other guys are up to, but it's back to get an update on how things are going to the mini golf course. Let me tell you, we got the foundation laid and we got the hell of a course ahead of us. Some of the holes are done, some of the holes are just getting uh, laid down with some turf, towels, uh, and we got the borders up for almost all of them. We got the classic horseshoe, all around, we got Becky, looking cute as ever. I, I still have to make the couch hole and the final hole, which is a surprise. You can get to see it at the end. It's not very, it's gonna be a surprise. It's coming along. Um, this is just the bare bones. We're gonna get some real themes in here soon. But in the meantime, check out what our boys are doing in their houses and wait, come back and see me when I've gotten a little more done. I'm getting to that point where the more I write the word choose, it's starting to seem like a made up word. Like choo, like choose, chew? Okay, Maggie's gonna come judge my work. Oh no. Zach. You can't put this on someone's body. You don't like them? Well, there's another page what too. What is this Superman? What? What? This is like something you did in like second grade. That was just me playing around. I was just trying something out. Why, well, hello there. We interrupt your regularly scheduled Try Guys vlog. Hey! So I thought for this week's vlog, I would try a few DIY mess at home for you to serious. Hey. So I thought for this week's vlog, I would try a couple. Hey, 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 hey! What's Daddy doing? Be good boys. Be like your sister. Look how quiet and angelic she is. As I was saying, we interrupt your regularly scheduled Try Guys quarantine vlog to bring you DIY face masks. That's right, many cities nationwide have implemented a rule that you have to wear a face mask when going out in public to help stop the spread of COVID-19. While at home, DIY masks don't completely prevent the spread of the disease. Every little bit helps. And of course, we need to reserve our N95 and medical masks for the people working hard on the front lines. We're gonna do our part by trying to put something together that we have at home in order to keep ourselves safe. So for this DIY break, we're gonna to try to put together this no-sew mask, where all you need is a bandana, some rubber bands, a little bit of moxie. This here's the towel shot. It's done. I present to you the Habersberger Mini Golf Course. This course starts off with a long, nice journey up a ramp, flying through the air and into a hole. Then we round around the table, a simple short U. Then we're headed through the kitchen. An amazing experience past bags of flour, past little Keats hot sauce, product plug, the spicy ramen hole. What kind of fiery fears lie within? Then we continue to launch into the desert scape. A short hole, but prickly terrors reign supreme. Then we have another ramp, but this ramp has a little catch. It's got a little divot, don't get caught. But if you do get caught, you can get out. Then we go around the lampshade into the hole. Now a grand giant you. As we go around the coffee table, underneath the little the cardboard tunnel, and then you blast through the door to make your roundabout. Then, I still have a hair in my eye. How did this even happen? Then, it's the couch hole. You must get past the little sticks around the corner and through the Dyson air purifier. And finally, hole number nine, the spookiest of all. Stick around to see the final hole. <laughs> okay, so we began with this ugly, terrible. The bubble letters, no. Got here to some, you know, cute, just lowercase, very simple. 
Then we started playing with this crazy design, almost looks like the Cheesecake Factory logo, love that. At this point, the words choose and fun stop seeming real. This is Maggie's that is so cute. Honestly, you should just do that one and pretend I did it. Start playing with this smiley face, but that's terrible. It looks like something the Joker, like Jared Leto's Joker would wear. So Maggie, I just sent the tattoo options to Ash and she says that she loves them. She quote, she's vibing with all of them. And guess which one she specifically called out? The middle school S. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think she was joking though. But very exciting, I'm glad you like them. She also doesn't know she's in this video yet, so surprise! So for this first no-so method, I'm getting information from the CDC's website. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of DIY videos online that have been trending, that have been showing you how to make a bandana into a face mask. Uh, but I'm gonna try it out, and I'm going to also include a coffee filter um, that's supposed to help guard a little bit more than just regular cloth. First, cut the coffee filter in half along its width. Then, spread out the bandana and fold it in half. Next. Put the large part of the coffee filter in the center of the bandana and fold it into thirds. Hey, Kim. Oh my God, Kim. <laughs> then place the rubber bands or hair ties over the bandana with six inches apart. Next, fold the sides of the bandana in towards one another and then tuck one side inside the other. That way, you're essentially closing off the loop without having to stitch anything. And finally, without touching the face mask, use the rubber bands to loop around your ears. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We've got two laundry balls, we've got our putter made with a selfie stick and a deck of cards. Come on, Becky, yeah. Oh, all right, well, you're gonna get around, that's good. Becky's second shot, it's tricky. Oh boy, it's tricky, there she goes. Oh, she's got to get in that hat. There we go. Three. Nice work, Becky. Oh, boners. Okay. Again, this is just a very silly way to spend a day, you know, uh, with your kids or with your friends and just make a little fun in the house. You know, why not? We're here for a minute. Three. In the Habersburger house, we stopped at five. That was a five, but that was good. Commendable. Oh, uh, nope, it wasn't a three. Three. Okay, not a three. Three. Okay, there's a few poses, three. but not a three. Three. Okay. Three. All right, I'm up. We're putting little booties on Bowie for when he goes on a walk so that he doesn't bring any germs back into the house and he's not happy. You got it, let's go. This is so sad. Let's go, come on. <laughs> With no sports on TV, people have been resorting to watching new alternative activities. But who needs sports when you've got this? A mighty volcano and inside six little fluffy dinosaurs and one dog waiting to rescue them all. This is the, the oh, hold on. This is the volcano dino, uh, uh shit. What should we call this? Uh, the volcano run, volcano. Rescue. Dino, uh, Dino Doggy Rescue. Let's do this. Okay, go. That's one dinosaur out. Yes, that's two. Come on, time's running out, folks. Oh, don't chew it. You gotta save all the dinos. Yes, that's three. Come on, man. That's four. That's five, one more, Bowie! That's six, you did it! Bowie is the champion of the world! Bowie, you are the champion, you've rescued all the dinosaurs. How's it feel? All right, back to you in the studio. All right, Wes, let's play soccer. Step over, 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 ah. step over. Ah. Oh, 
idea. <gasps> oh my God, Becky! That was amazing to tap that in. That's a surefire two from Beck the Smacks two. That's why her handle is only a two. <laughs> <laughs> and she's mad with power. I'm really more of a course designer than a player, it turns out. Oh no! Oh no, you hate to see it go down that way. Oh. Becky, you're so good. Hi, Keith. Oh! What even happened? This this course is rigged. <laughs> Becky with a commanding lead. I'm not sure how Keith can come back from this. He is not going to qualify for the Masters at this rate. But Becky, who always said she wasn't so good at golf. Ah, just got a hole in one! Oh, wow. Becky dabbing or something. <laughs> Wow, Becky, that was unbelievable. The first hole in one on this golf course. That means you get this hole named after you. Yay! This is Becky's Revenge. <laughs> when the coronavirus hit, a lot of movies decided to push, you know, to months ahead in the future, if not even to next year. First, it was Fast and Furious, then Mulan, James Bond, all of these great movies and big blockbusters that none of us are going to get to see for a long time now. So I thought, what if I make the movies. My country is under attack. My name is Mulan. Please, General, my father, he's sick. Let me fight in the war on his behalf. No, you're a woman and we only let cool men with cowboy hats fight in this war. Huh. Huh. They turned me down and so I decided to become that which they feared. Wait, what? that's not, that's Batman. So obviously it should go without saying that you should wash your hands before you put on masks and before you take them off to make sure that you don't get any residue on the mask itself and to make sure to keep the masks clean. this course like it's nothing. I, Are you upset? I, you normally I, I, I know. you're joking. I don't, I don't know. You act like you're joking, but I think you might actually be mad. <laughs> a little let down by my own skills today. I typically always win mini golf. I spent two and a half hours building this and I have not done well. You're getting louder and louder. I know. Prince is excited as her daddy's shot. <laughs> nice. A two. This is only two holes that can't beat Becky in, but he's still far behind in the game. No, I got a two. Huh? I got a two. No, no, one only holes that I, you didn't get a two, you got three. One, two, three. I got a two. I got a two. Don't lie, you're already winning. You don't need to lie. She you don't need to lie. When will my reflection show who I am? Huh? Who are you? Name's Diesel, I mean Dominic Toretto. And we're gonna need a team. A team? The name is Bond. James Bond. Did somebody call for backup? Lando Calrissian, how's it going? My name is Princess Diana of Theranicia, but you can call me Wonder Woman. Well, howdy. What do you think? Let's do this. Bow, bow, bow. Doom, do, 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 do. Imagine that they're walking right now, yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Our board at home project is to build 
The longest train set the world has ever seen. Painting! And painting! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hole we've all been waiting for. Hole number nine, the seasons of time. Every good golf course has at least one cosmic or spooky hole. The seashell represents summer and fun. Oh, the fall as we transition into fall. And then winter. And finally getting your ball in the winter cap. Ooh. I originally had a strobe light in here, but I didn't want to give anybody a seizure, so I took the strobe light off. Oh, beaten by the pumpkins, the smashing pumpkins. Oh, fuck, she has really been launching. See if you can just putt without it. Maybe you don't need it. Oh, she's stuck in a Plinko situation now. And I'm gonna count that away, and I'm gonna count that. Woo! What does winning this mean to you, Becky? Wow. This is really um, very exciting day for me. I've never been keep in mini golf before. Um, usually I have to cheat. I just think it marks like a new territory in our relationship where like, I am better at than Keith at this thing. Well, that I mean today. He loved and thought he was super good at, but really, I'm the one that's really good at it. Should I try comedy next? Is this is my job. Okay, all right. <laughs> that's enough, that's my stick. All right, listen up, team. Things are getting crazy out there. We've got ghosts. Somebody save me! And we need the best team that money can buy. Are you up for the job? Vin, that sounds like a job for you. I'm on it. Excuse me. Today's no day to die. I'm not gonna do it, Emma. She's an angel. She doesn't deserve this. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now introducing the longest train track in the house. Oh God! It's a baby monster. Oh no. My lips are stuck on yours. Oh god. Oh, this is embarrassing. Ow, ow, owie, ow, 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 oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. That's nice. Oh no. I'm surrounded. It was me, Mulan. Also, I'm a woman. I think I'm in love. Mulan? Yes, Vin Diesel. I mean, Dominic Toretto. I, will you marry me and be my familiar? Yes, I will. Mm. Now that's what I call a happy ending. <laughs> yeah! Do you want to have a good time tonight? I want to have a good time tonight. You know we're going to have a good Time that was what we did with our day today. <laughs> Becky, what'd you think? Oh, it was really fun. I thought you came up with really creative ways to put everything in the house and it 
killed about two hours for you. It'll probably kill maybe like another two hours for you to clean it up. It will. Uh, yeah, uh, you. you know, we've we've come a long way since Hide the Lemon. You know, we're gonna have some cocktails and have some dinner now. I'm gonna clean all this up, but this is a good way to spend the day. I think it's a good thing you can do for your kids. Honestly, it's just something I used to do as a kid all the time. I made all sorts of goofy things. I made a whole nine hole miniature golf course, but it was permanent in my backyard. So this is a fun little trip down memory lane for me. That's it, goodbye from us. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. It's scary, <laughs> but remember, home is where the love is. <laughs> <laughs>